Question 67. Recall that a, pre that a predicate logic statement is contingent if its truth value depends on the choice of the universe and on the interpretations of the predicate symbol S and the constant symbol B involved. Consider the following predicate logic statements in which B, X, and Y are elements of the universe U. It's usually easier to look at these things and to imagine a real universe and these real numbers. Let's pick B equals 4, for example. And let's pick the universe of integers here. And let's just have S uh, inter interpret that to mean the same. So equals, you know. So here we have for all X, the statement uh, X equals B implies that uh, there's some Y where uh, X equals Y. Now, no matter how we interpret the function s, I mean, here I'm interpreting it to mean the same, but you really could interpret it any way you want. If b is an element of, the, of whatever the universe is, and y is an element of whatever the universe is, then some y could always be b. And if that y is b, then x equals b. So we're basically just saying that for all x, um, if x equals b, there exists some y where x equals y, and, and it, it's, it's x equals b, that's the one it is. So basically this is always true. Because you can always just put b in for y and you've got a true statement, no matter what the universe, no matter what the interpretation of s. Now let's take a look at number two. Here we're saying for all x, there exists a y where uh, uh, for all x there's, there's a y where x equals y and that implies that for all sorry there exists a y that for all x uh, x equals y these are not these are not uh, the same the same thing. I mean, if we say that that every single x that li that's out there x x x x every one of those x's has some kind of a y where x equals y. That's true, okay? But this is saying that there exists a y that for all x uh, x equals y. Now that's the only way that would be true is if the, the universe was the set of one number, say that the one number was 4. If the only number in the universe is 4, then sure, for all x, for all, there exists a y that for all x, x equals y, because there's only one number. But generally, that's not the case. So this one is contingent on the universe. It's contingent. You see? Now for this one here, it's for all x, um, uh, x does not equal x, it is true if and only if uh, b equals x. This means true if and only if, or implies that it's true if and only if. Now, that's just crazy. I mean, um, for all x, if x does not equal x, x has to equal x, right? Um, but, I mean, let's suppose that you had some other interpretation of s, um, uh, whatever it would be, you know, b, b, it's not true both in directions that, that b equals x is the same as x is not equal x. Or, 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 so, so this one basically is always going to be false. I don't have a clever um, analogy to show there, but it's not hard to see that that s not s x x is is not the same as does not imply s b x. So there's not for all x that that can't be true. First of all, if x is not b, it's not going to be true. Or actually, if x is b, it is going to be. You know, these 
these would be the same, but this says not. So, like for example, if this if x was b, then it wouldn't be true for all x. So there's your there's your answer there. So this one's always false. This one's uh, contingent, and this one's always true. So that is answer b. So the answer to the question is b. Always true, contingent, always false.